Did you uh did you see the Red Octobers? Yeah, 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 yeah I've seen them. What did you think of them? They're dope. I've I've always liked Red Red Kicks because I think I think they look dope with like all black or they, they contrast really well. Mm-hmm. Um, there's not too many colors that you can do that with. Like I feel like red is one of the few where your sneaker could be red and the rest of your outfit could be some different shit. Like you can't walk, really walk around with like you know like a purple shoe. You know it looks a little crazy, but red is always a good accent. Um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think they're dope. What did you think about like Kanye leaving Nike for Adidas? I thought that was interesting. I thought that was interesting. I mean, from what he said, his issues are. I understand him. You know, I think he said he wanted royalties, right? Don't mm-hmm. give him royalties or something like that. Yeah, he also um, didn't know when the release dates of the Red October were. Yeah, there was like right, right, right. Um, so like, yeah, I mean, I I understand it, but then it, you know. In the same token, like, Nike's Nike. So it's like, all right, like, you know, I could see how on their end, they're like, all right, well, go ahead. Go do what you want to do. Like, it's not worth the headache. Like, how many do they sell? They don't even make that many. You know yeah, what I mean? They don't make a lot at all. Yeah, they don't make, and it's not like Nike sells them at the resale prices. Nike probably just sells them for, what, like, 200 or something? Yeah, they sold for 245 Right. Yeah, exactly. So, so I think, at the end of the day, they're a business. Yeah. To their bottom line. You know, like the, they'll be all right with or without Kanye, and then and then on Kanye's end, he wants more control and royalties and things of that nature. He's got a good brand going with the Yeezys, so I mean, I feel him too. You know what I mean? So I think they just, I guess, grew grew apart in a sense. What do you expect from Kanye and Adidas? And like, are you hyped for that? You think it's gonna be a good release? Mm, I can't say I'm hyped for it. Um, can't say I'm hyped for it. I mean, I've always liked. I don't own a pair of Yeezys, you know. I mean, I I would like to like if I saw like those red ones in a store, I'd pick them up. But I know that's not realistic. Like I'd have to pay fifteen thousand dollars. I'm nowhere, nowhere about to do that. Um, do the Yeezys have a Nike check on them? Yes. I think they need like a. They need to brand his shit on its own, you know? I don't think they should have, like, the Adidas stripes on Kanye's sneaker. Um, you know, almost like how, how how Nissan has Nissan and they have Infinity for, like, they need to figure out, like, a premium, a more, you know, because Nike is already associated with premium shit, you know? Adidas is, is dope, but they don't, their brand doesn't hold that same, like, premium kind of kind of weight they don't swing it like the way Nike does yeah. um so yeah I think they're gonna have to find a way to and you know Kanye only wants premium premium like his whole vibe with everything you know what I mean is is like trying to stay cutting edge and and um you know like high quality and I, I'm sure that you know everybody can make a quality shoe all these people have shit loads of money but just from a branding perspective, I think that's going to be the trickiest part is to maintain that, you know, that that feeling of Ooh, you got like a, a premium Nike sneaker um, and how they're going to translate that into the into Adidas.